Good morning, gang. Feel me? It's like 8.30, bruh. I've been up for an hour, hour and a half. Showered, chilling, full. Um, working on my fish tank, bruh. I had to refill their water and junk. So that's what I'm doing right now. Feel me? Feel me, feel me, feel me. I'm a little chore ski. But I'm going to do this and then I'm going to walk the pup skis. And we got strength and conditioning today. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm going to tap in with you. Such a pretty day, bruh. It feels good out here, too. It's only, like, probably, like, a hundred, which is good for out here. Bro, come on. Where are you going? Let's go. Bro, there are a whole bunch of geese poop everywhere, though. And I had just washed their leases and collars, so hopefully they don't freaking run all in it. Nasty asses. Ooh, speaking of, I almost just stepped in it. Gross. Gross. But yes, sir. Simple gang. Feel me? Y'all know how it is. Uh, we got strength and conditioning today, so in a little minute, we'll hit those push-ups and feel me? Sit-ups and then we got training and then uh, I don't know what else. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to type in with you. It was terrible, I didn't like it. <laughs> Forgot to show y'all, I gotta pop my pills, bro. You feel me? Daily, gotta pop the pill skis. <sighs> Seven down the drain. Huh? What up, gang? I took a little pre-nap, not gonna lie. And now we're gonna go to strength and conditioning right now. It's like 1 <clears throat> p.m. I'm gonna tap in with you when I get there. Feel me? You already know the drill. Just got the bag and some water. But, um, yeah. Got a little pick-me-up in. And then, um, we'll hit the workout later, bro. It's just some push-ups and sit-ups. Hush. Feel me? Y'all see where we're at? Yes, sir. Feel me? Today's weights, so we're gonna get active. Just waiting on the trainer to get here. And then, yes, sir. Gonna get, get ready, stretch out. Work out for a little minute and tap in with you. There you go, girl. You gotta get right. Feel me good, good little conditioning day. Today was like a hit workout full. Did a lot of the assault bike, um, and then did quick, quick circuits, like pull ups, ball slams, sled, all that good shit. You feel me? Had me, <laughs> but. It was, it was a good workout, good workout. And then, I need to forget, I need to figure out bro's last name, but Josh, I don't know, he's he's headlining the uh, Misfits event here coming up August 10th. And uh, feel me, my trainer be training him, so I get a little insight to his camp. It's cool little, little look out. I like, uh, I can respect the influencers that actually put in the work. Like he's actually putting in work and that shit is respectable. No, I mean, do I not respect people that go in there and just do it? I mean, I respect you regardless if you're getting in because at the end of the day, bro, you sign your life away for real. You're getting in. Regardless of whether you think it's going to be for, like a good fight or not. Whether you're doing it for money or doing it for glory, whatever you're doing it for. So I respect you getting in in general, but definitely gain more respect when you treat it like a sport. You feel me? And you're actually working. And that's what he's doing. So that's respectable. I showed y'all. Gave y'all a little look. I mean, not really. He was just in the ring. But, yes, sir. I'm going to tap in when I get home. Shower. Um, it was a good workout, fool. I'm tired, bro. I'm tired. Quick little snack ski before I take a shower. And then, um, what are we going to do? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Just ordered Mexican food. My dad went to go pick it up because he didn't, I don't know. He volunteered, so... Shout out him, um, but yeah, I'll tap, I'll tap in when I get it, and I'll show y'all. Bro, I'm gonna be real, real honest with y'all. I ain't never watched no WNBA before, but I turned it on for Caitlin Clark. Yes, sir. But this is the funniest shit I've ever watched, and I'm gonna continue to watch some WNBA games. Maybe no, I'm lying. But this one is funny. You see it, bro. I already took a bite. Sorry, impatient.
Yes, sir, with a horchata. Bless her. I'm a grub. What's good, famlo? Hear me. You already know drill. Journal reading. Let's get a quick one done. It's warm out here. I'm over it. It's like 7.45. It's late. It's late. Um, Today was good, bruh. Same old, same old. You feel me? When will I do more? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> um, I think today I want to just talk about how you can't bring past experiences with you. You feel me? You got to learn from experiences. Yes. You got to take them for what they are and understand that they were given to you and you're putting them circumstances for a reason. And you got to analyze it and figure out what lessons there are to take from it. But you also can't bring, you feel me, predetermined feelings into a new situation. Um, just because one person acts a certain way doesn't mean every person is going to act that certain way, correct? You feel me? Like, it's hard to do that as humans. We can just, it's easy to callous our heart and mind and just easier to say, you know, nah, it's good, we'll go this way instead of actually tearing that shit down and working on it and being open and allowing new experiences to happen. We uh, are comfortable, we, we get too comfortable in being stagnant, being regular, being normal, you feel me? And uh, it's not what this life's about. This life's about growing, this life's about adventure, this life's about uh, learning from new experiences. So, um, you feel me? Uh, it'll all come around, fool. Just because you're not where you are, right, where you want to be right now, doesn't mean you're not going to get there. I mean, it's all going to come in time. It's going to come exactly when it's supposed to come. So, don't rush it. Don't be, don't be too, uh, impatient. You feel me? Patience is a virtue. Something I need to work on heavily, but we all need to work on it. Nobody's the perfect, you feel me? Nobody's perfect. I'm going to talk to y'all tomorrow. I appreciate y'all for tapping in. Yes, sir. I love you.